I think the most daunting and tedious part of completing any essay, report, or assignment is the last part, citing your sources and creating a bibliography page. Hi there, my name is Mike, and I thought in this tutorial video I would show you a really quick way to generate a reference page like this using a feature in Microsoft Word. So that's coming up. So I'm going to show you a feature in Word that will allow you to quickly automate the process of citing your sources in a term paper and might help you save some time. And the reason I'm doing this is because I had a lot of colleagues sort of suggest different resources for doing this when the best resource was right within Word and it sort of glanced over and not recognized. So I'm going to show you guys that Word feature and how it can save you time. So let's say I want to cite a website in the um, sort of in between the last word of the sentence and in between the paragraph. I would click the insertion point there in my Microsoft Word document. And then I'm going to go up to the References tab. And then from here, I'm going to, within the Citations and Bibliography group, you're going to insert citations. So this seems like it would take a lot of time, but it's going to save you time later. And I'll show you how that'll work. So we'll go to the Insert Citation drop arrow. And then we're going to click on Add New Source. And then you're going to change the type of source. So we want a website. So we're going to have to scroll down a little bit. So I'll click uh, Website. And then I'm going to type in all of my information in this Create Source box. Now, when you're citing a website, you will try to fill out as much information as you can. But if you only have the author or the corporate author and then the actual link to the web page, sometimes that's all you need. So don't get too stressed out about uh, typing in every little piece of information about the website, just sort of like the website link, the name of the company or author, and then when you access the website. So if you have those uh, three main things, that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to click OK here. And then you'll notice that the citation goes uh, right here. Now, if you're wondering where the year is in that citation, it's uh, it's like this. It only says the name of the uh, website because it's in MLA format. But if you realize halfway through, oh no, I have to switch this to APA. Uh, my project's in APA, so I have to switch it. You convert the citation to static text. I'm going to delete it, and then we're going to quickly come back to this using APA format. So if you had to switch from APA or to MLA, this is how you could do it. So just static text, just delete. That'll make it easier to delete. And then now when we change this style to APA, uh, and we insert the citation again. Now you'll notice that there's the uh, corporate name and then also the year as well. Now in this spot in the document, we'll try citing one of my favorite books called Bragg, The Art of Tooting Your Own Horn Without Blowing It by Peggy Klaus. And, um, and I'll put all the information in there. So I will click the insertion point again before the period and after this quotation. And then I'm going to go again to the Citation and Bibliography group in the References tab. And we're going to insert our second citation. So I'll click on the drop arrow here. Um, if you had to repeat a citation, this is great because we, we already created one. And then if you had a quote from the same one again in the document, you could just choose that again. But we're going to add a new source. And then this time we're going to choose um, not just a book section, but a whole book. And then I'll, I'll fill out the information here. So now that we've filled out all of our information, we can click OK. And you'll see the citation pop up here. But you can take another step. If you want to like maybe take a quote and source the actual pages, you can go to the citation options here. And then we're going to edit citation. And then this will give you a few more options. So if I wanted to specifically uh, list the pages that I got this quote from, maybe page 23 to 25, I could add that and then press OK. And now you can see the pages that are uh, perfectly cited in our Word document. OK, so now we want to add our bibliography page. So in the last part of the very last sentence of my essay or research um, document here, I can just uh, put the insertion point here. And then I'm going to go to the Layout tab, click the Breaks option. There's a few you can choose. I like this one, the Section Breaks, the Next Page one. This will hop down to the Next Page. And then from here, I can go back to the References tab and then just choose in this Citations and Bibliography group. Um, click Drop Arrow, Bibliography. You could do a References or Works Cited. Let's say I like that References option, so I will do that. And then there the, it is, without having to notice how um, this line is what we call a hanging indent. If you have to add a hanging indent manually, you would just go to the, um, the Home tab and then go to the paragraph group, and then just go to um, spacing and just add the hanging one. You can see it's there automatically. 
And we probably don't want, while we're here, we probably don't want this to be um, spacing after, but we do, we'll say zero points, but we do want double space. So we'll say double, click OK, and now that's double space and formatted perfectly. So I hope that was helpful. Maybe in the next video, you guys let me know in the comments below if you'd want to see something like this. This is my very creative uh, header that I put in a Word document so I can show you how to create sort of headers like this um, while also creating a annotated bibliography. Uh, let me know if you'd want to see that down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.